down here doing with the shoe. Or that feeling where you're like, oh my god, is this really Amen. happening? Yes, it is. And I'm just, I'm really excited because, like I told you, you know, this is an opportunity for me to start a whole new, a whole new book, if you will, you know, because I have the old book, but you know, it's almost like I'm kind of burning that book. That book is now the burn book. It's gone. Yeah. It's yep. dead. Yep. And this is the new book, whatever we want to call it. It's the new exactly. book, the new chapter. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I'm, you know, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for her because she's been sorry and emotional. <laughs> um, she got to be taken captive by false philosophies, deceit. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that going on. And a lot of that in the name of Christ. A lot of people telling you, oh no, you need to do this, you need to do that. This is how you follow God, that's how you follow God. And there's only one way. I give you a security and a comfort that you're not following your own ideas or your somebody else's. This is the word of Christ. Uh, because there's a lot of falseness out there. But Jesus says here that when we're baptized, he says, you put off the body of flesh in the circumcision of Christ when you were buried with him in baptism and you were raised with him through faith in the working of God. You're now trusting that God's working in you. Mm -hmm. It's not even you. Right, yeah. It's God fashioning you, you know, doing something. As you read his word, that word is has a power. It's doing something in us that we can't even explain, right? He is doing that through the working of God who raised Jesus from the dead. So if we believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, we can believe that he's doing something. He's raising me from the dead too. And doing some work, circumcising that flesh off so that it's no not bothering me, not deceiving me. And so that's part of that. I just wanted to share these scriptures with you. Carolyn is going to share more in the, in the days to come. But just to give you an understanding of what you're going to do today, that this is the beginning of something big. So, yeah. yeah. All right, we're ready. Sure, huh? but not right, this time, I'm when you're tomorrow, older. How about tomorrow you come to the pool? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, pop up on it. I'm good. I, I've been to, we're going to the swimming pool tomorrow, so I think I'm good. All right, Pedro, you want to yes. introduce Natalia a little bit? Yes. So, Natalia worked for some time with Nylisa. That's how uh, she met. That's how they met. And eventually, uh, Nylisa asked her if she was interested in coming to church. Uh, and she said yes. And she's been coming now for a month. <laughs> Great and Jackie as well. And they're both enjoying it. She, today she came to the conviction that she believes that God has brought her here and wants to give her a new family, wants to give her salvation, and she wants to make Jesus Lord today. Amen. Amen. Do you have a scripture at all? Chris, do you have a scripture at all? I'm surprised you knew that I did, but yeah, I do. <laughs> He's actually. always ready. <laughs> yeah, in Romans chapter 6, uh, verses 11 through 14. It reads, the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you obey its evil desires. Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer every part of yourself to Him as an instrument of righteousness. Amen. Today you cross over from death to life. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Now you're 